Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We are so excited to share this announcement with you today. So thank you so much for being here. My name is Sarah Yacino, and I'm an admissions counselor here at Trinity, and it is my privilege to work with all SAISD students. Today, I'm joined by many wonderful colleagues, both from our Trinity University community and also from San Antonio Independent School District. As far as today's program goes, we'll be first hearing from all the panelists that are on the screen to hear a little bit about the evolution of this program and its implications for all of us. And following the, the end of the program, I'll ask all of our media partners to stay on if they're interested in asking our panelists any questions. So without further ado, we will go ahead and get started and we will first be hearing from Trinity University President Danny Anderson. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be here today in anticipation of some exciting news that we have to share with you. Before we kick things off, I would like to thank San Antonio Independent School District uh, Superintendent, Dr. Pedro Martinez, and the entire school board for their enthusiastic work to make this announcement a reality. I also wanna thank Justin Doty, Trinity's Dean of Admissions, for all the hours and the amazing work he has put into orchestrating our new partnership with San Antonio Independent School District. Not only is our Trinity campus located within the San Antonio Independent School District's area, but our faculty and staff work collaboratively with them on a number of innovative programs. Faculty and students, namely from Trinity's Department of Education's Master of Arts in Teaching and Master of Education in School Leadership programs, have worked very closely to develop initiatives for the San Antonio Independent School District's pre-K through grade 12 students. Together, we develop programs for students who seek academic challenge with greater depth and complexity, which lead to opportunities for acceleration. And I'm proud of the relationship that Superintendent Martinez and I have forged since we both began working here in San Antonio five years ago. I admire the tremendous impact that Pedro's leadership has had on the school district. Trinity's mission through our partnership with the San Antonio Independent School District is to continue to support their students beginning in pre-K all the way through college and graduation. We want to help our SAISD high school students achieve their dreams of higher education and career success. Superintendent Martinez, thank you so much and thank the San Antonio Independent School District for your continued support of Trinity University and thank you to all who are here joining us this morning. Thank you so much for those remarks, President Anderson. We will now turn it over to SAISD Superintendent, Mr. Pedro Martinez. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us. And uh, Danny, thank you for your leadership. Uh, I am a huge fan of Trinity to have such an amazing university right in our backyard. Um, you know, I drive by it every time I go come to work. And I know for so many of our students, um, you know, we've been doing more and more field trips to Trinity all the way from young children in elementary schools all the way up to high school. And I keep hearing, you know, Trinity always. And, you know, I want to go to Trinity. This is, this is the campus that, that, you know, it feels the right one for me. And, and Justin, uh, thank you for, for everything you've done uh, working with Dr. Sassetti, working with our college advisor. We have an amazing team. Uh, thank you, Jonathan, for your work at Jefferson. So for us, this is a big deal. Uh, we have worked hard over the last five years. We have more, almost doubled our college readiness rates. We have closed our gap with any of the districts here in the county with the entire state overall. We are seeing over 80% of our children applying and getting into colleges and universities. We have amazing partnerships uh, with the Alamo Colleges, with UTSA, Texas A&M San Antonio, all of the local universities, as well as more and more universities across the state. But I'll tell you, the one that I kept, you know, was still uh, going for was Trinity. Uh, and I know Dr. Anderson and I, we've been having these conversations uh, because we knew that we had students that wanted to attend Trinity, were getting into Trinity, uh, and sometimes for financial reasons, weren't able to. And so for us, uh, being able to have a top tier university, which is in our backyard, being as another option for our students, where we know that they won't be uh, having to deal with debt, especially during these times when parents are feeling more and more pressure uh, from what's happening with COVID, what's happening in the economy. Uh, and what I just love, again, is, is just, you know, having uh, an amazing uh, university that has one of the highest completion rates in the country, not only here in the state, and to have that as an option for our students, uh, to have, for them to be able to know that if their academics allow them to get in, 
that they can actually be guaranteed that they will be able to, that the financial need will be met. So thank you. Thank you for, for the amazing partnership. And like I said, I can't, I can't wait to see the, the fruits uh, because I know that our students are going to take advantage of it. And we know we're going to continue to see more and more numbers of students um, attending universities as well as attending Trinity. Thank you. Thanks so much, Superintendent Martinez. We will now hear from Trinity University Dean of Admissions, Mr. Justin Doty. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. And, you know, I'll, I'll just echo the sentiments and just say we are incredibly excited about this. That This has been in the works for almost a year at this point. So absolutely thrilled to see this come to fruition. We see this as a huge win for Trinity. This is a huge win for SAISD. And most importantly, this is a huge win for the, the students and the families in this community. Uh, when Dr. Society and I started initial conversations, we both realized that we, we have this same shared vision about providing opportunities and access to students with this commitment, not only to get students to college, but through college graduation. Uh, I think that's a, a, a key facet of all of this. The intent behind the, the Trinity community investment is to open up this larger pipeline with Trinity and SA, SAISD applicants and high achieving students to realize two things. Yes, Trinity is attainable. Uh, they, they, can, they can gain admission. And secondly, we're making this affordable. Uh, so Unfortunately, for I think for a lot of, our, of students in our communities, they may not see Trinity as a realistic option. And so today, you know, we are here to help educate and let families know that, that a Trinity education is feasible and financially viable. You know, most of us know that, that one of the most significant barriers to higher education, and especially a place like Trinity, can be cost for families. Uh, sticker shock is real, you know, and we know that, that there is often that, that daunting, you know, realization when you look at, at initial costs. And so we, we do want students and parents to understand uh, that Trinity is in a really fortunate position. We have a, a very robust financial aid program uh, to make this kind of education affordable um, and, and limiting loan debt upon graduation. So there is this commitment for all students, but, but more specifically right now, an even greater investment in SAISD students as well. Um, what this means for the students is we are committed, committing to meeting 100% of demonstrated financial need for these families. And so this obviously involves scholarships and grants and an opportunity for work study. Uh, and then if, if loans are part of the equation to help finance the cost, it's very modest. You know, we're capping loans for these students at $3,500 annually. Um, so upon graduation, it is feasible, you know, to, to repay, you know, the, this kind of investment in loans. Uh, so the bottom line today is we just want students to know that if they gain admission to Trinity, we will make this a financial reality for them to attend Trinity and then graduate from Trinity uh, I, I should also mention, we also know within the district, you know, there are many students who are the first in their family to attend college. So with that, there's obviously hurdles and challenges navigating the college admissions process. Our staff at Trinity can be seen as a resource. You know, we, we're excited. We stand, you know, willing to help these families. We also want to be in partnership with the great counselors and advisors from SAISD to, ha to help assist these students as well. And then finally, for any of these SAISD students who end up enrolling at Trinity, there's this intentional commitment to ensure that they are starting off on the right footing academically and socially. And so I see academic advising and I see student support services working in tandem with one another to, to just help ensure success and that they are starting strong from the very beginning. In closing, I absolutely wanna thank President Anderson uh, for his support. I wanna thank Superintendent Martinez alongside the SAISD Board of Trustees for believing and endorsing uh, this partnership. And then I absolutely wanna thank Dr. Sasati for, for his incredible collaboration 
with this project as well. So overall, we are just so excited about the, the doors that will be open for the students in this district. So looking forward to, to many great things to come. Thank you. Awesome, thanks, Justin. We'll now hear from our SASD counterpart, Dr. Eduardo Cesati, Director of Post-Secondary Initiatives at SAISD. Hola, hola everybody. Um, as Justin mentioned, we are beyond, beyond excited for this partnership with Trinity University. Um, as part of SAISD's College Partnership Network Strategy, uh, Trinity plays a, a crucial, crucial role in building this strong pipeline for our students to have access to top tier institutions. And we, we also know that many of our students may find it difficult to leave home for college. And this partnership ensures mostly that our students do not compromise getting access to a high quality education uh, simply because of geographical choices. Um, I, I am especially excited for uh, what we seek to do to provide support systems that ensure SAISD graduates at Trinity persist semester after semester. As a district, we are committed to continue helping our SAISD alumni navigate uh, the academic, social, emotional, financial challenges that they might encounter while in college or pursuing a career. And so we know our students have needs, especially financial needs, that do not cease to exist just because they graduate high school. If they took the bus in high school, they may still need help with transportation. If they were part of the national school lunch program, they may still need help with food security. All of these circumstances can be barriers uh, in realizing our graduates' dreams and what I believe is that this partnership reflects Trinity University's commitment to knowing and loving our students the way that we come to know and love them. And so I want to thank everybody uh, that has been a part of this. I actually want to give a shout out to my college fund advisors because I get a lot of my uh, uh, strategy from them because they are the experts in this work. They have helped us to make some significant changes in our school district. Uh, and I want to thank everybody in this call for making it happen and the SASD Board of Trustees for believing in it and approving it. Uh, it is a game changer and it's something that will change a lot of or transform a lot of students' lives uh, now and in the future. Um, I do get the privilege of introducing our College Fund Advisor that is here with us today. Um, I took that away from Sarah. Uh, so Jonathan is a graduate of Jefferson High School uh, who went on to attend and graduate from Trinity University. Uh, after college, Jonathan Atten decided to join the Trinity University College Advising Corps and was stationed at Edison High School in SAISD as a college advisor. And Jonathan is now the college bond advisor at his alma mater. He's back at Jefferson, uh, helping students uh, just like himself mobilize uh, their post-secondary dreams. And so it is my privilege to introduce to you all uh, Jonathan Hernandez. Thank you, Dr. Sasati, and thank you, everybody, for having me, uh, allowing me to be on this panel. As Dr. Sasati said, as a product of both SAISD and Trinity University, I feel like I have a little bit of a unique perspective um, in regards to this uh, partnership that we're doing. I graduated from Jefferson in 2011, and it was through the help of a college advisor like myself here on campus that I um, became aware of Trinity. Um, I spent my entire life here in San Antonio and had only been on Trinity's campus for a field trip here and there when I was in elementary school. So I wasn't fully aware of Trinity's um, reputation as, as a prestigious um, university here in San Antonio. And so I applied for admission to Trinity in the fall and in over Christmas break, my uncle who was a mailman at the time delivered my acceptance letter to my home. And uh, we celebrated and in February, I got a call from Trinity's financial aid office um, letting me know that I was going to be interviewing for a scholarship that covered the cost of tuition at Trinity. Um, and it was a, a scholarship that was targeted for first generation minority students like myself. And so I know without that financial assistance, Trinity would not have been a realistic option for me at the time. Um, I was eligible for the Pell Grant every year that I was at Trinity. Um, I did work study every year. I worked in the library for four years. And throughout my time at Trinity, I realized that it was through not only the financial help, but it was also through the amazing one-on-one -on -one conversations that I had with professors in both the communication and the Spanish department. It was through one-on-one -on -one conversations with my work study boss in the library about um, the need to persist and the need to be resilient and the need to rely on my family's background um, to gain strength to push through. Um, and so 
I've seen firsthand the needs that our students face on a daily basis, both uh, personally and professionally. I understand that sometimes our students go home and there's, there's no electricity at home. I understand that our students struggle with paying for, for everyday needs, especially right now in the times that we find ourselves in. Sometimes our students are the only ones working because mom and dad have been laid off and their biweekly paycheck from Wendy's is the only sustainable income that the family of five has. And so I'm also currently studying higher education administration at UTSA. And so this is this education has given me another perspective to see that the needs of our students go beyond financial. The needs of our students are also spiritual and they're also emotional and they're also social. And so I want to commend Trinity on their commitment to San Antonio's youth as a product of San Antonio. Um, my high school education, my undergraduate education, and now my graduate education is all in the city. My roots are here. My passion is here. My love for the city is real. And so I want to commend Trinity again for their commitment to San Antonio's youth and to making students more aware and um, more understanding of this amazing opportunity that's available for them in their own backyard. Um, just a six minute drive down Hildebrand is what separates Jefferson from Trinity. Um, and so Trinity is a unique place and it off offers and fosters creativity and inclusivity and critical thinking and equity. And so as a college bound advisor, as a product of SEISD, as a product of Trinity, I understand personally, professionally, and academically what this partnership means for our students. And so again, I just wanted to thank you personally um, for this partnership that is taking place and your commitment to our student success. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I can't think of a better way to conclude today's program than seeing just kind of how all of those things just submerge so beautifully together. So thank you so much for sharing. I want to thank all of our panelists for sharing their thoughts and kind of how this, this partnership has evolved. Um, we're so excited and I hope that you all are as well. I want to thank you all for tuning in at home. And now any representatives from the media, you are welcome to stay on to ask our panelists questions if you're interested. Thank you all so much for joining.